Hi, I'm Craig, and I've been keeping swimming pools crystal clear for over 30 years. It's important that your swimming pool maintains a good free chlorine level, but from time to time, pool owners struggle with this. Having to add an excessive amount of chlorine and then finding the pool has no chlorine reading the next day. The first thing you need to understand is the difference between free chlorine and total chlorine. Free chlorine, simply put, is the chlorine that is available to sanitize the pool's water. We call this the good chlorine. When the free chlorine is used up, it turns into chloramines, also called combined chlorine. We call this the bad chlorine. These chloramines use up the free chlorine very rapidly. Often when swimmers complain of a strong chlorine smell or that their eyes are burning, it's most likely the presence of chloramines. If your pH, alkalinity, and stabilizer are in the proper range, chloramines are almost always the reason you're finding it difficult to maintain a good chlorine reading. So how do you know if your pool has chloramines? This part is simple. You test for free chlorine and then test for total chlorine. If both readings are the same, which is exactly what you want, then chloramines are not present. However, if the total chlorine is higher than the free chlorine, you'll know how many chloramines are present by calculating the difference. Incidentally, free chlorine can never be higher than total chlorine. If it is, the test was inaccurate and should be repeated. I know most of you are familiar with the term shocking your pool. This is adding granular or liquid chlorine to your pool. The goal of shocking your pool is to add the proper amount of chlorine to reach what is called breakpoint chlorination. That's used to break up the combined chlorine in your pool. To reach breakpoint chlorination, you'll need to add chlorine equivalent to 10 times the amount of combined chlorine present in your pool. For example, if you determine you have one part per million of chloramines, you would need to add enough shock to reach 10 parts per million of chlorine to reach breakpoint chlorination and rid the pool of chloramines. The problems arise when you have higher levels of combined chlorine. Let's say you determine that you have five parts per million of combined chlorine. You'd have to add enough shock to reach 50 parts per million of chlorine just to achieve breakpoint chlorination and oxidize out the chloramines. That is a lot of chlorine. This next point is very important and perhaps the reason why so many people spend an excessive amount of time and money trying to get their pool just to hold a chlorine reading. Let's say your pool requires 20 pounds of shock to be added at one time to remove the combined chlorine, but you only add 19 pounds. Not only would it be completely ineffective in removing the combined chlorine, but that extra chlorine would add to your combined chlorine problem. For those that have struggled adding chlorine day after day and week after week, and still were unable to get a good chlorine reading, this is most likely the reason. At no single time was enough shock added to reach breakpoint chlorination. Many customers and even many pool professionals have not been properly educated in this matter and lose both time and money in the process by never reaching breakpoint chlorination. There is, however, a better way. In the case that your combined chlorine reading is more than two parts per million, you should add a non-chlorine oxidizer. Oxidizers are still effective in eliminating combined chlorine even if the proper amount is not added. Let's say your pool required 20 pounds of oxidizer, but you only added 10 pounds. It would still be effective in removing half of the chloramines. Unlike our previous example, where you added 19 pounds of shock when it required 20. In our experience, it takes a couple of days after adding an oxidizer to get an accurate reading. So wait and retest your pool and add more oxidizer if needed. You can repeat that process until you no longer have combined chlorine. This way, you don't have to worry that you didn't add enough chlorine the first time, wasting time, money, and creating a bigger problem. So to summarize, free chlorine is the good chlorine that sanitizes the water. Total chlorine is the free chlorine plus the amount of combined chlorine in the pool. Chloramines are the byproduct left after chlorine has done its job. Both total and free chlorine reading should be the same. If they aren't, you have combined chlorine also called chloramines, and they must be removed. It's also important to note that if you're using test strips or a test kit, that it can test for both free and total chlorine. If it doesn't, it's imperative that you purchase one that does. I hope that you found this video helpful. We welcome all of your questions and comments and hope you too have a crystal clear pool this season.